Well, new tonight at 11, a social media post by Whitworth student athletes is creating quite the outrage online because those athletes are dressed in blackface. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. Here is that original Instagram photo. It shows the five women in blackface and afros. The caption reads, oh, baby, give me one more chance. Hashtag Jackson 5. Hashtag this is Whitworth soccer. KXY Forest Grace Disler working for you. She's live tonight at Whitworth. And Grace, this photo brought to the school's attention this morning in part on social media. What is the school's response? Nadine Whitworth released a statement on its Facebook page today saying, quote, that the university has no tolerance for the type of behavior demonstrated. The school says regardless of the reason the student athletes dressed up, because they dressed up in blackface, it is inherently offensive to many people, especially those in the African-American community. The picture of Whitworth student athletes dressed up in their interpretation of the Jackson 5 made waves in the Whitworth community today. The school responded quickly. We understand the, the how offensive uh, and uh, damaging um, blackface is to a number of people uh, of many racial ethnic backgrounds, but of course, uh, particularly to African Americans. Whitworth's Associate Vice President for Diversity, Equity and Inclusion, Dr. Lawrence Burnley, says this issue goes beyond five students dressing in blackface. It's about a lack of awareness of our country's history of oppression. In talking to some students, um, they have shared with me personally that they were not aware of, 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 of the history of blackface. Now, for some, that's hard to believe. How can you not be aware of this history? And if, in fact, you're not, and I believe some people, quite frankly, are not, um, what does that say about uh, an educational system. I'm not talking about Whitworth. I'm talking about education in the United States. Dr. Burnley says these students will be held accountable for this incident. The students uh, that I spoke with that were involved in this are contrite. They're remorseful. Um, um, I, and uh, we don't believe that there was intention to, to hurt or harm. But again, and I, I want this to be clear, it does not diminish uh, the impact that it is having, it's having on people uh, both here and beyond Whitworth's campus. Um, and, 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 the, and so per persons need to be held responsible for that. And moving forward, Whitworth will use this incident as a teaching tool. How are we positioning our students to engage and serve humanity if they're not exposed to their stories and their narratives, uh, particularly those of suffering in this country? And Whitworth would not tell us how those students, student athletes will be held accountable for this event. Nadine? And Grace, the doctor saying that uh, those students didn't know that blackface is offensive. And, and even on social media tonight, many people admitting that they don't either. That's right, Nadine, and dressing in blackface is offensive to people for many different reasons, but particularly because the history of blackface goes back to times of slavery when white people would dress up like African Americans in comedy routines that were very uh, mocking them and, and dehumanizing them. And modern day blackface serves as a reminder of the racism and, and injustices that African Americans have dealt with throughout the history of the United States. Reporting live at Whitworth tonight, Grace Ditzler, KXLY 4 News. All right, thank you.